Okay, so what do we have here? <laughs> we got the Roomba S9, and then we got the LG Quad Zero R9. Okay, looks like the Roomba S9 is off to a good start, and the R9 is just trying to get its bearings, but it's going off in the right direction, so I give it credit for the LG moving forward here. Now that the S9 decides to take a rest here, maybe it needs to think about where to go next. Then it decides to go off in the wrong direction, take the long way around. Maybe it's just trying to show up the LG, saying, oh, look how fast I am, LG. I could go twice the distance and still beat you. The LG is like, huh, I'm a hot red new robot, and then gets kind of hung up on my banister there. Hey, S9, where did you come from? You're not supposed to go that way. But it quickly makes that detour and surpasses the LG once again. So the LG is just sitting there in disbelief, can't believe how quickly the Roomba can move. And the LG decides to take another break. He's just checking out the bump sensor, or maybe he's just checking out my awesome furniture. I don't know. But come on, Roomba, this is a race, not a bump and go type thing. Okay, so I think the LG is back on track here. It looks like it's somewhat going towards the master bathroom where I have both robots set to go to. So, why did I select these two robots to race each other? Well, they both have similar sensors. Both have vision camera sensors, and they both have a 3D laser system. Okay, it looks like the winner is the Roomba S9. It was able to get to the bathroom first. So, the Roomba S9 decides to do a little victory dance by starting to clean up the bathroom, because he loves to clean, since he's a robot vacuum. And the LG decides to take a detour, maybe he's just checking out the bed there, or checking out the cable, maybe he's trying to figure out how to charge himself again, I don't know. Now he decides, okay, maybe I should get back on track. So I will give credit to the LG, it does have a really good sensor system that can pick up a lot of different types of objects, but look at this folks, he's just kind of bouncing, zigzagging back and forth, slowly making it to the bathroom. Keep in mind that these robots are fairly new to the market, less than a year old, so hopefully the companies will provide software updates to improve the navigation. And I do try to showcase all the flaws if I can, and this is one of them. The navigation on both robots do need some work. Okay, LG, finally you made it into the bathroom. Whew, that was a long race. Okay, so the LG refused to stay in the bathroom, so I actually had to start it from that corner there. And, you know, since the LG lost, I felt, well, maybe I should give it a big head start and see if the S9 can catch up and get to its charger first. And it looks like the LG is doing good. It's actually going in the right direction. It's not really dealing off into any other direction. And then we got the S9 kind of checking out its bump sensors again. He likes to bump into furniture just to make sure it's really there. I think he's kind of worried that his 3D laser sensor is fooling him and saying, Hey, there's a piece of furniture there, but he likes to double check. I guess he's OCD and wants to make sure that the furniture does exist. Wow, LG, you're so far ahead. Maybe you'll win this time. And the S9 decides to try to catch up by taking its detour again. So both robots have the capabilities of doing a room select where you can select an area of your house and they will drive to that area. Also they both have a keep out or no go zone where you can tell the robots to stay out of an area. Keep in mind that the S9 will be getting this feature later hopefully this year. Uh, the i7 did get it but unfortunately iRobot had some issues with the update so they pulled it. I have not gotten an update on my S9 my Brava M6 or my i7 in about a month now. So I'm still waiting for the update. So hopefully iRobot's listening and can get an update going for the S9. So it looks like the LG is just trying to figure out what charges to dock to. Uh, I do apologize if this is kind of obscuring the testing results uh, because I know that you're not supposed to have multiple charges up against each other, but I like to keep my robots together and for the most part, they can find the charges no problem, they do eventually get to the right charger and able to self-charge. So if you like this type of video, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. I do do a lot of odd videos and sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, and this is one of those kind of iffy, up in the air types of videos. I'm kind of disappointed in the navigation, but it's what it is. They are vacuum cleaners, not race cars, but just take it how you guys think of it. Anyways. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nathan. 
Welcome to Robot Masters. I do a lot of crazy testings, unboxings, overviews. You name it, I do everything. So, you guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there, and I'll see you next time.